Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. UNCR, Universal Center for Renovation. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8 and 32. The Roman administrative units of the civitates were abolished and replaced by the military comitates. The former free Romans were transferred en masse from the cities and were established on the slave labor camps called Ville and Mansi alongside the serfs. They were called villains, a term which for understandable reasons came to mean enemies of law and order. John Romanides. The Romans were called villains, enemies of law and order. The Roman administrative units of the civitates were abolished and was replaced by military commentates. The Romans were taken from their cities, stripped of their Roman citizenship and rights. They were placed under martial law by German warrior military bands or troops under the command of the Franks. S P Q R Senatus Populus Q Romanaeus, the Senate and people of Rome. Civitis, an ancient Rome, the Latin term civitis, law. It is the law that binds them together, giving them responsibilities, monera, on the one hand, and rights of citizenship on the other. The agreement has a light of its own, creating a res publica or public entity into which individuals are born or accepted and from which they die or are ejected. The Civitis is not just the collective body of all the citizens, it is the contract binding them all together because each of them is a civis, civitis, city and citizenship. Civitis, Wiktionary, Etymology, Latin, Civitis, City, Civitis, a member of a city, Rome, Roman citizenship, Wikipedia, Roman Gaul, Roman Gaul refers to Gaul, 
under provincial rule in the Roman Empire from the first century BC to the fifth century AD. The Romans colonized Gaul or France. Major cities of Roman Gaul or France, Roman France. Encyclopedia Britannica, France, the Roman conquest. Imperial frontiers, provincial boundaries, Roman main roads, major maritime outlets, provincial capitals, legionary bases, early veteran colonies, and naval bases. Roman city in France. Citizenship in ancient Rome, Latin, civitis, was a privileged political and legal status afforded to free individuals with respect to laws, property, and governance. Citizenship in ancient Rome was complex and based upon many different laws, traditions, and cultural practices. There existed several different types of citizenship determined by one's gender, class, and political affiliations, and the exact duties or expectations of a citizen varied throughout the history of the Roman Empire. The Romans thought of themselves as highly religious and attributed their success as a world power to their collective piety in maintaining good relations with the gods. Their polytheistic religion is known for having honored many deities. Most Roman cities had a population between 5,000 and 15,000 people. Cities were important to the Roman Empire because they were where the empire collected taxes. Wealthy Romans typically worked 
a six hour day from sunrise to noon in the city. The afternoon was spent at leisure, possibly at the baths or the games. The familia, the family in Rome included more than just the basic family of father, mother, and children. It also included all the people who were part of the household, such as the slaves, servants, clients, and freed men. As a result, some families in Rome grew quite large. The emperor's family often included thousands of members. Festivals in the ancient Roman Empire were a very important part in Roman religious life. State holidays were celebrated by the Roman people and received public funding. The Romans also distinguished between specific types of gatherings, such as public feast, dinner, normally eaten in the mid-afternoon, and the drinking party. The former free Romans were transferred in mass from the cities and were established on the slave labor camps called Vele and Massey alongside the serfs. They were called villains, a term which for understandable reasons came to mean enemies of law and order, break feudalism and doctrine, page seven. The slave labor camps were called Ville, Villas, and Mansi, mansions or manors. Wiktionary, Ville, plural of Villa, Ville, Villa. Wikipedia, Villa. A villa is a type of house that was originally an ancient Roman upper class country house, Ville, Villa. Post-Roman era. In post-Roman times, a villa referred to a self-sufficient, usually fortified Italian or Gallo-Roman farmstead. It was economically as self-sufficient as a village and its inhabitants who might be legally tied to it as serfs were villains. The Romans were the serfs and the villains of medieval times, the Dark Ages. The slave labor camps were 
called Mele Villas and Mansi Mansions or Mansions.